video are actively discouraged from engaging in harassing or abusive behavior towards other individuals. Links contained in the description are used to avoid plagiarism and misquotations by citing the original sources. All right. <coughs> so, now that that's done, let's show you something funny. <laughs> Your bastard mouth and hang up the phone and don't call my fucking house again, Jeremy. That's my mom. Pick another freaking number, you idiot. I gotta wake up for work. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just want to play this one real quick. The people that are pulling down the statues are idiots. So, Black Lives Matter is not a legitimate movement. It's just a bunch of hooligans, a bunch of goons, a bunch of black people tearing stuff down. That's not called a movement. That's called a riot. That's called a mob. That's called tearing stuff down because you think you're more important than the than your own country country uh fellow countryman so here we go here we go we're gonna talk about it and then we're gonna go talk about good evening welcome to Tucker <clears throat> carlson tonight we spent an <clears throat> awful lot of time over the past few weeks trying to to figure out and then explain what's happening to our country at times it's been depressing but it seems important at this point, it's pretty clear that nothing is what we're told it is. These are not protests. This is not about George Floyd. It's not about systemic racism, whatever that is. America is not a racist country. You are not a bad person for living here. These are definitely not protesters. They're not even rioters. I agree. They're not protesters. They are not even rioters. They're the armed militia of the Democratic Party. They are. They're the armed militia of the Democratic Party, and they have come to take away everything that you worked hard for. Armed with the media. They're working to overthrow our system of <clears throat> government. They're trying to put themselves in power. That's true. That's all one gun's trying to do. He's trying to use YouTube to do it. He weaponized YouTube and he we weaponized Google. He's weaponized the whole internet, as a matter of fact, against his opponents. Well, opponent. He only has one opponent, me. Uh, so one gun will stop it. Nothing to destroy me. And he, he is part of what Tucker Carlson uh, is talking about. It's a left wing mob and it's a cultural revolution. And one gun thinks he's in power and he's not. That's all obvious now. It's genuinely sinister. We're worried about it. We've said that. We mean it. But in the process of saying that, we may have missed something else that is also true, as well as highly amusing. These people are idiots. For real. The angry children you watch set fire to Wendy's and topple statues and scream at you on television day after day. People like one gun. Scream at you on television day after day. People like one gun are truly and utterly stupid. Stupid. There's probably never been a dumber group gathered in one place in all of American history. It's true. They're mouth breathers. They know nothing. They're mouth breathers. They know nothing. One gun, are you listening? You're a mouth breather. You know nothing. They couldn't tell you who George Washington was. They don't know when the Civil War was fought. Probably not even to the century. They say they oppose racism, and then they rip down monuments to abolitionists. Did you hear that? They say they want to end racism, and they're ripping down... Uh, what are they ripping down um, uh, Abe Lincoln monuments for? Abe Lincoln set you free. And here you're, you're ripping down... Uh, <laughs> you're ripping down Abe Lincoln statues because you're against racism? What are you, stupid? You don't even know who Abe Lincoln was. They don't see the contradiction in that because they have no idea who the abolitionists were. <laughs> they think it's a band from the 80s. <laughs> a lot of the very stupidest people, by the way, are, quote, well-educated. They have all the worthless credentials we're told we should want for our children. They went to Duke. They work at some nonprofit. They hold a good-paying job in digital marketing at Nike. Yeah, they're supposedly impressive, but they're not <laughs> impressive at all. They're incredibly dumb. They fall for any lie, no matter how preposterous. The more preposterous, the more likely they are to fall for it. Yep, that's one gun. He fell for the lie. He fell for the lie that Sally is a woman. Sally is not a woman. Sally is a man. 
You fell for it. Ha 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 ha. And like small children, they are afraid of everything. In California, a Hispanic utilities worker made the mistake of cracking his knuckles at a red light. Whoops. The geniuses thought he was flashing a white supremacist gang sign. Ah. So they fired him. Poor guy. <laughs> in Oakland, Mayor Libby Schaff, who claims she went to college and law school, wow, mistook exercise equipment in a park for Ku Klux Klan nooses. Schaff then held a press conference to hyperventilate about hate crimes. Talk about textbook hysteria. But it was also his... That's like one gun. She saw what was workout equipment. She saw nooses. So that's like one gun. He sees nooses where there is none. You terrorist. Because I'm not really sure if one gun is a man or a woman. Nyat, Nyat, you are a dirty man or woman. Whatever comes first. Look, you don't have to be a race baiter. We already know that you're transgendered, Sally. So quit trying to race bait me. I'm never going to say anything bad about black people. I never have and I never will. Take the game assets out of this game while it's on Steam. Wait a minute. You think? You think you know what they want? Don't you know that they already know? They've known. They've known. They want this to happen. You little dirty monkey boy. Well, where did I make money off the free stripper moves? You animal. You dirty, dirty animal. Oh my goodness, you are a dirty person. Dirty, 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 dirty. Is that why you live in St. Louis? The dirty, dirty south? Dirty boy. And they're gonna go, oh shit, that stupid sadiddy nig. Woongoon. Reported it is stolen. Okay, Ruan Gun, you want to come in here into my little chat box and play a game? You might not get out of the chat box tonight. You might be buried in the chat box tonight, Ruan Gun. If you want to play this game, I'm perfectly willing to play this game, you sadiddy nig. He made a fake image saying that, that I said the N-word. I have never said the N-word in my entire life. I said my nigger. I can't say my nigger? Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. I can't say my nigger. So, F you, dude. Get off my channel if I can't say my nigger. I'm just saying my nigger. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, you sadiddy nig. You're a fucking stupid banana boy, dude. You need to get back to work. Go to work, boy. Go to work. Or go to sleep. I don't care. Go to sleep, one. Put down the meth pipe. Dude, I will drive down there to St. Louis. You really want to meet me, don't you? You really want to meet me in person, don't you? Now, I will defend myself violently. If I have to, I would try to uh, I would try to have this site taken down also because he's he's doing the same thing here that he's been doing on his other site on, on his on his uh, True Bones on uh, Gum Road. I have I had him banned from Sketchfab for doing this, and it's kind of it's a yet 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 you are not them. Why would you ma try to make a decision? It's not even your decision to make. Quit trying to fight other people's battles, one. Quit trying to fight other people's battles. Fight your own battles, you little wussy boy. A little bit more harder with, with, uh, with the Gumroad site, but eventually it's going to come down. We're going to have to save this. Till the next time, and I really appreciate you stopping by, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But we are going to get down to the nitty gritty of this. There will be no more yet. What do teeth have to do with it? Teeth? Teeth! Hysterically funny.
For people this neurotic, life is one long horror movie. They squirm in their seats, paralyzed by fear. Even the simplest and most obvious decisions become impossible to make. They're too afraid. The New York Times just profiled a group of people just like this, sympathetically, of course. This group lives in an affluent part of Minneapolis. After watching hours in a rage mob. Yes, that's all this. This is all it's about. One guns in a rage mob, a rage mob, folks. This is the rise of the left wing rage mobs. Move the statue of Teddy Roosevelt from outside New York's Museum of Natural History. The bronze statue has stood there in the Theodore Roosevelt Rotunda facing Central Park since before the Second World War. Soon it will be gone. People who erected that statue 80 years ago would be confused by this, no doubt. They did not consider Teddy Roosevelt a controversial figure. In fact, Roosevelt was the most popular president in America. To believe what we're watching is a version of the Rodney King riots from itself. This is an ideological movement. The ideas that fuel it have incubated for decades on college campuses. We paid for all of it, by the way. The rest of us were so thrilled that our kids got into Duke that we decided to ignore what Duke was actually teaching them and just continued to send big checks. That was a mistake. It was one of the gravest mistakes we've ever made. We didn't appreciate the stakes involved at the time, and as a result of that, we became easy marks for their lies. This is so Are you true. tired of the media so spinning true. the truth? And um, the rise of the left-wing rage mobs, and then we'll get right to that one gun movie. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We had a very long open yesterday. In fact, we spent almost half of last night's show telling you about the rise of left-wing mobs in this country and the threat they pose to all of us. We Be right felt back. it was that important. We told you that no matter what they're claiming on television or how loudly they are claiming it, their main goal is power. It always is. In order to seize that power, they will do literally anything, whatever it takes. They'll silence you, they'll hurt you, they'll burn your country down, and they're doing all of that now. You're watching it. So the question is, how should you respond to this? And the answer is, with courage. You're an American, you live. We've seen in that, thankfully. We work for one of the last brave companies in America. Left-wing liberals, left-wing liberals, left-wing liberals. That's all that one gun is. Um, let's go ahead and see. <sighs> okay, so one gun's working, but the thing is, is why did he put this this has nothing to do with um this must be a spam or a scam folks because this stuff about joe joe tried his last scam on me today only to get in serious trouble now i have a timeline on what happened folks and how joe planed this since december wow joe steals from epic the movie what does this movie have to do with you nothing folks it's a spam or a scam Spam or a scam, folks. Misleading text. This video is a spam or scam because it has non-relative information in the description box. Please remove this video for spams or scams. Thanks. So, um, one gun again is not working on his stuff. He's not working on his stuff, folks. Look, one gun doesn't make his movies. He buys his movies. And I'm just criticizing that. It, you can. You can do it this way if you want, but I'm not going to. Why would I go buy a bunch of third-party items and put them in my movie joe what the fuck are you talking about you don't make movies excluding the plethora of disgusting racist rant videos the stolen content that you're claiming is yours to sell is literally third-party assets it's literally the thing that you just told people was a stupid fucking idea you just actually sell stolen third-party content for other artists to buy and incorporate into the movies and animations you're completely demeaning without conscience or understanding of your own customer marketplace how can you even claim to be any form of asset artist and then say something this completely out of touch